American Pacific Corporation, a Nevada corporation, is a unique specialty chemical company. Its principal production facility is located in Cedar City, Utah, and its corporate offices are located in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Halotron 1 is a clean fire extinguishing agent that is one innovative product offered by the Halotron division of American Pacific. Halotron 1 is the most widely used clean agent in portable fire extinguishers in the U.S. since the production of Halon 1211 ceased in 1994. Halotron 1 is a patented combination of a chemical blend and proprietary discharge nozzle design. It was approved by the U.S. EPA under its Significant New Alternatives Policy, or SNAP program, in 1994. It is also of relatively low toxicity. Halotron 1 is carried by major fire extinguisher manufacturers in their UL-listed equipment. Those manufacturers that carry a full line of UL-listed portables include Amrex Corporation, Badger Fire Protection, Buckeye Fire Equipment, and Kitta Safety. These major U.S.-based manufacturers carry UL-listed portables and wheeled units ranging from a UL rating of 1 BC up to a 10A 80 BC. Halotron 1 is a clean agent and therefore leaves no residue after application. This is in contrast to the commonly used ABC dry chemical or monoammonium phosphate agent, Purple K, and foam. Halotron 1 is discharged as a liquid, which then rapidly evaporates after removing heat from the fire zone. This intrinsic characteristic is critical since it allows a user to save a significant amount of money and time over the long term due to the significant reduction or elimination of collateral damage from powder or water-based agent applications. The most prevalent damage occurs to electronic devices, such as those found in computer and telecommunication facilities, mechanical devices, such as auto, boat, and jet engines, and motors. Other uses of Halotron 1 include myriad applications such as office areas, commercial trucks, warehouses, manufacturing plants, heavy machinery, libraries, and art galleries. An extensive U.S. FAA-sponsored two-year test program was initiated in 1993. This rigorous full-scale fire test program simulated the types of fires as shown here in the fire tests conducted at Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida that are typically encountered by aircraft firefighting departments. Halotron 1 was approved in 1995 for airport ramp fire protection use by the FAA. Since that time, more than 50 commercial airports have installed 460 to 500 pound or 209 to 226 kilogram Halotron 1 systems on their aircraft rescue and firefighting vehicles. This includes eight ARF trucks at the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. Among several testimonials to the effectiveness of Halotron 1 in the aircraft firefighting area, one is particularly notable. In December 2000, Sikorsky Aircraft Fire and Rescue in Florida reported that a fire occurred in a test helicopter on the ground. After the flight crew was safely evacuated, Sikorsky stated, The fire was expeditiously extinguished due to the total flooding capability of Halotron 1. The agent proved so effective that the fire could not reignite, and the firefighters were able to proceed in disconnecting any power remaining to the aircraft, deeming it safe to begin overhaul. It was found during investigation that a hydraulic line and electrical wires had been rubbing together. Eventually, both lines rubbed through causing a high-pressure hydraulic leak and an electrical arc that ignited the fine mist. By using your clean product, minimal cleaning was required and millions of dollars were saved in replacement parts and labor. Foam or a dry chemical agent would have only extended the damage. Halotron 1 is easy to use, provides a quick knockdown, and the extinguishing capabilities are remarkable. Your product prevented the workload other agents would have caused. Few personnel were required to perform overhaul duties, thus lessening the overall stress of the fire crews on scene. Halotron 1 is truly a fine fire extinguishing agent, and it proved itself that day. In December 2001, Amrex completed UL and FAA prescribed fire testing that allows for complete compliance with the FAA minimum performance standard for handheld extinguishers on board aircraft. The Amrex model B394TS was the first to complete all fire tests at the FAA and UL. It is now approved for on board aircraft use as a replacement for Halon 1211 portables used in the past. The model B394 was required to comply with the following three criteria. 
First, passing the seat fire toxicity test at the FAA test facility in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Second, passing the 5B heptane pan fire at UL. And third, passing the hidden fire test. This special test shown here, designed by the FAA and British CAA, tests the ability of the agent to flood an area indirectly, such as areas found below deck of the passenger compartment in an aircraft. This UL listed and FAA approved fire extinguisher is capable of meeting the needs of aircraft operators, including the ability to support live fire training programs. Halotron 1 is suitable for such live fire training programs since it is effective and has an extended discharge range. It is therefore easier for untrained users to become proficient with Halotron 1 in comparison to other agents. The UL test program is rigorous. The fire shown is a 10B pan fire. The area of the heptane fuel surface, calculated by multiplying the B numerical designation by two and a half, is 25 square feet. The pre-burn for these pan fires, smallest to largest, is one minute. This 10B fire is consistently extinguished with five and a half pounds, or two and a half kilograms of Halotron 1, in an extinguisher with a net charge weight of 11 pounds, or five kilograms. This is an ADB pan fire conducted by UL at outdoor fire test facilities located at the American Pacific Fire Test Site. This 200 square foot fire was extinguished repeatedly with an average of 61 pounds or 28 kilograms discharged from a wheeled fire extinguisher. The amount of heptane used in this pan fire is 250 gallons or 950 liters. This fire is a UL-2A wood crib fire conducted at UL in Northbrook, Illinois. The 2A wood crib is comprised of 78 pieces of 2 by 2 inch wood strips. The fire is started with a heptane fuel pan and the pre-burn is typically about 6 minutes. It is repeatedly extinguished and therefore multi-UL listed with a 15 and a half pound or 7 kilogram net charge weight of Halotron 1. This fire is the associated UL-2A wood panel fire. It is 10 feet wide by 10 feet tall. The panel consists of 240 3 quarter by 3 quarter inch fur strips mounted on a back panel constructed of 1 by 6 inch wood pieces. The panel is then sprayed with oil. Shredded wood is ignited on the ground in front and pushed up to the panel. The pre-burn is more than 4 minutes. This fire is repeatedly extinguished with a 15 and a half pound or 7 kilogram net charge weight and UL listed by multiple manufacturers. ULC listings also exist for most of the UL listed Halotron 1 portables. American Pacific maintains a full-scale fire test site at the Cedar City plant. Facilities there include a full range of UL pans up to 160B, a full range of EN3 type round pans, a 1200 square foot concrete burn pit, a jet engine fire simulator, and a total flooding fire test building. At the Cedar City plant, the primary product that American Pacific manufactures is ammonium perchlorate, which is the oxidizer used in multiple solid rocket motor programs used by the U.S. Department of Defense. It is also used in large quantities in the Space Shuttle's two solid rocket motors and other applications throughout the world. American Pacific also manufactures sodium azide, which is the nitrogen gas generator source for many auto airbag systems. The PSI division of American Pacific assembles pollution abatement equipment that make and utilize sodium hypochlorite. Halotron 1 is sold throughout the world in approved equipment including Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Czech Republic, Egypt, Ghana, Indonesia, Israel, Korea, Malaysia, Mexico, Pakistan, Paraguay, Philippines, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, United Arab Emirates, and Uruguay. The combination of improvements on product performance at UL and other venues, along with development of new markets, allows American Pacific to achieve a high success rate in its aspirations to exceed customer expectations whenever possible.